Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. Today we will talk about SOA installation with step-by-step -step demo. I already have a video of SOA installation on my channel. I believe that was my first video I recorded around three years ago. But back then I had no idea about video editing, audio editing. So the video and audio quality of that particular video isn't very good. Uh, you know what, just, just have a look of that video, how I sounded in that video. Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome to our channel. So as you saw, audio is very low and there is a constant noise in the background. And that video is one of the most popular videos on the channel. So, so I decided to reinstall SOA in my machine from the scratch for everyone who wants to learn SOA. So they can get a video with a comparatively better audio and editing. So I will be installing 12.2.1.3 version of SOA 12C in my machine because that is still my favorite out of all the versions. Uh, this is not the latest version. I think the latest version is 12.2.1.4. I have worked on that version, but I still prefer 12.2.1.3. However, installation process is same for all 12C versions. So step one, is downloading the SOA suite archive files or the quick start jars. So to download the latest version, you can go to this uh, particular website on Oracle site where you can simply go ahead and download it. Or if you would want to download the version that I am using 12.2.1.3 or any other version, then Oracle provides an e-delivery-oracle.com uh, website. You go there, sign in, add your whatever that you want to install into your cart and continue agree to the terms and then you can download it from there i will put all those links into the description now step two is to install a jdk i am going to use jdk 1.8 update 191 because i know it works with that one However, to know which JDK version is best supported by your installer, you can check out the security metrics document provided by Oracle. And I'll put a link of that particular page also in the description. And you just go there, you search for Fusion Middleware, you look for the version that you're installing, and you click on uh, the download button, and then an Excel file will be downloaded. It's a very vast, a very complicated document. So my recommendation is just follow what I'm doing and it will work like charm. So let's let's install JDK. I have this JDK downloaded already. If you don't have it, you can download it from Oracle website. It's it's all free. It's a pretty straightforward installation. You just click on next, next, and let it install. And we'll click on OK here. Destination folder you see program files. This is okay. And once it is successfully installed, you can close it. And now the step three is to extract the SOA jar files that we just downloaded and then we will launch the installer. So just follow along. And these are the commands that you'll need to execute. So Open your command prompt in an administrator mode. So run as administrator, give it access, and then this will window will come. And now we'll need to execute those command one by one in that same fashion. I will put those commands in the description box so that you can simply copy from there, edit it accordingly, you know, according to your folder structure, and then execute them. So let's just do that. So in first command, I'm setting the Java home. I'm setting the path that goes till Java home and then bin folder. And now I'm changing directory CD stands for change directory and I'm going to where my SOA jar files are. And here I am. And now I'm going to execute the command uh, dash jar, which will simply extract the jar files using the java utility that we have under our java home slash bin so let's do that so now as you can see it is extracting the installer so let's just wait for a while and now our installer is going to start as you can see it already started now 
and the next step now is to follow the instructions that we have uh, as part of this installation process the quick install installation and our SOA will be installed so let's do that click on next and we're going to skip the auto updates as of now and this is by default automatically took that i where do you want your oracle home to be i don't mind having an oracle home in my c drive oracle middleware and oracle home but you can simply go ahead and change the directory as well you can just name anything here and it will automatically create those directory for you i'm going to leave them as it is and we'll click on next So prerequisites checks are there. So it basically checks that how much RAM you have. I think the minimum requirement is two GB, but if you have four GB, it's better. But in my machine, I have plenty of RAM and space. So let's click on next. And this is uh, basically telling you that this all will be installed and this all you can have. This will be your Oracle home and everything. You can save this response file if you want. I don't want it. I'm going to just click on install here. And now this could take a while. So last time, like three years ago, when I created this uh, video installation video for the first time, I had no idea how I could sort of uh, fast forward this or edit this. So that's why what I did is I did not install it. I just said that, you know what, just click on this install and it will work. Uh, but now let's fa fast forward this. All right, so it took around six, seven minutes for it to complete. Let's click on next. And it gives uh, us all the details that has been installed as of now and if you see the most important thing here is that it installed jdeveloper with it which is an id where you can create your soa services people processes and everything so i'm going to keep clicking on this we'll keep it as uh, checked so we'll finish it and the jdeveloper will start So congratulations, you have installed SOA in your machine successfully. It was so simple. And let's click on OK and let this J developer open. Here I'll, I usually just select everything. So this is your J developer, and now you can you can start developing your um so our services you can simply come here new application i want to create a so application and after that you can uh it will download all the features that you need in order to use soa and you're good to go you can create so applications you can start creating projects you can start using people process and stuff like that and it's so easy to create services with j developer now and as a matter of fact here you go i just created one service in like 10 seconds so however if if i develop a service i cannot install it because our weblogic server is not yet configured uh, there are different domains that we need to configure or that we can configure in order to use weblogic and deploy our services and have an enterprise manager console sb console soa composer and all those uh, web pages for that we need to configure uh, domains however we'll do that in our next video there are different types of domain there is uh, by default there is an integrated domain then we have standalone domain then we have compact domain how we can configure those what are the differences when to use what we'll discuss that in our next video so stay tuned this is it for this video. We have successfully installed SOA in simple four steps. Thank you so much for your time. Take good care of yourselves and have a nice rest of the day. Bye-bye.